All right, I'm going to show you guys how to convert a SVN repo into a brand new Git repo. And in case your SVN repo had many different projects in it and individual folders, I'll show you how to extract a specific folder. And then uh, I'll show you how to merge your recent Git commits in case you just extracted out your working copy from your SVN, put it in a new git repository and began working from there I'll show you how to join the two so you have a complete revision history with all the revision commits from SVN in the past and your git commits that are from the present so if you go to my site you can see uh, exactly what we're doing and there's the whole tutorial typed out I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this in a video in case you get confused walking through um, the article so if we look here this is the SVN repo we have it has two projects in it each have code files um, you can see there's two lines of code in this uh, currently in my git repo we have um, this is the changes in it there are six lines of code so um, if we hit git log we can see that we have three or four git commits there's an initial git commit project 2 and some more and in this SVN we have three initial commits which happened before our git stuff so we want to merge these two together so to do that and yeah, hop back in terminal we're in a blank folder here so we type git svn clone and then the path to your repository which if you're on a server online it'll be http it has to be a url if you're over ssh and then username at something.com or in my example here it's just another repository on my file system so so it'll be file two forward slashes for the URL and then one more forward slash to start where this is at on my computer and it has to be the full URL you can't use that to get your home directory it has to be the entire thing so and then that's the full path to my git repository this is not the working directory it is the uh, full SVN repository so we'll hit enter and this sucks down our repository if we do an ls we see we have a new folder so let's cd into that we can see our two projects and if we hit git log we can see we now have the commits in it in it project 2 added more code the same as SVN so right now it's cloned the entire SVN repository with one command which is really nice so now we need to extract out one folder so in order to do this we um, we need to do git filter branch and then we want to do subdirectory All right, and then what do we want to filter out? Just the project one directory. We need two tags and then another two tags and all because we want the full revision history of it. So we'll hit enter. And see what get filter branch. Oh, this is two tags here. Alright, so that worked there. We rewrote our tree. Now, if we do git log, we can see that we only have two commits, and these are the only commits that affected Project One's folder. So there was three commits in here, but you can see the second one was added Project Two 
and nothing in project one was changed or added so it just ignored that commit and we just have the init and the added more code so now if we ls we can see that we don't have a folder we just have this code.txt file in the root directory of our git repository that's because when we did the branch filter it just took in anything in that project one folder and just spilled it out in the root directory so we need to rebuild our folder structure so it matches our um, current git repository which is here so let me clear this and then ls so we have project one and then the code.txt files inside of that so let's uh, make a new directory and then we want to move everything from the root directory into project one you'll get an error when you do this saying can't move project one into project one but that's fine it works and if we ls we can see we just have our project one folder and um, if we ls our project one we can see we have our code text inside of it if there's more than one code file to be moved that um, star there helps you move every single one of them in there so now that we have that we need to uh, do a commit so let's say git add and then period to add everything into it so if we do git status we can see that um, we have one new file that was added in project one then code.txt and then just code.txt was deleted okay so now we need to commit everything so git commit tack a here it asks for a um, comment so we'll just say rebuilt folder structure all right and then we'll just right quit and this does to co does the commit for us so if we do status again we can see we're on master branch there's nothing to commit so now we need to pull in our current git repository with all the changes and revisions that we made and merge it with this git repository which has our history from subversion so in order to do that um, let's create a, no a new branch so we don't mess up our master branch here so we can do git checkout and then tack b and then our branch name and this will create a branch and um, check it out for us at the same time so we'll just call this current repo alright we can see that we switch to it we do a git status there's nothing to, to, to commit it has the exact same things in it so now we need to do a git pull and then our path to our git repository our current git repository so um, called git copy and then SBN repo is this full path to this okay so now that we do that we'll hit enter and we can see we get some conflicts because um, this file here we had two lines of code and then in our current git repository we have more of the, more of the same lines only um, we modified the same line so that um, creates a conflict but merging in git and resolving conflicts is really easy we just type git merge tool and then it's telling us we're doing a normal merge conflict for project one code text hit enter um, if you're on mac or whatever and you have xcode installed you get file merge which is awesome and here we can see on the left is the old code file and on the right is with the new ones and we just say what we want to do this is our final document down here so I want to keep the uh, left change on this so I hit choose left and we see that it switched over these arrows here switched 
and on this one we're just going to keep the right version so I'll hit save this and close file merge and then uh, that completed our merge for us with all the conflicts so if we do um, get status we can see that we've modified one file and it did add another file this code text original which mean which was the uh, original code text file at the conflict of the merge so after we resolve these conflicts we can just go ahead and delete it so we'll just say rm project one code text uh, that and now if we do a git status we just have one modified file so let's go ahead and commit this okay and you can see as our um, comment it's already added in we did a merge from this repository into what branch uh, we had these conflicts but um, we resolved those so we don't have to really add anything else here we'll just save this it does the commit now if we type in git log we can see we have the four vision history we have the init from SVN, we have the added code from SVN, and then our four initial git commits, project two git commit, remove the second project, and so on. So, if we want to see this in a graphical representation, we can type in git k, hit enter, and you can see here we have our four vision history, not just the subversion not just our current git project but every single commit that we've made for this code so we've successfully extracted and merged a single project out of an old svn repository and converted it to a brand new git repository so this is in another branch if we want to merge our current repo back into our master that's pretty easy but we just do the same thing I'm not going to show you so that's how you do that and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments see ya